Hello everyone, it's Marion Wallace with uh, Restoring Ghettos Forgotten. And the topic today that I wanted to discuss is the power of a fence. And uh, I thought this was an important topic to talk about because it's happening every day. We see, you know, we're all different people. We're in this beautiful um, melting pot of different races, creeds, colors, opinions, thoughts, upbringings. And so we're all gonna have a difference of opinion um, so I don't think it's wise for anyone to be offended so easily by especially generalized posts. You guys, come on now. Unless somebody really knows you or they put your name in the actual post, I don't think you should take offense. And if it's something that is upsetting to you, just scroll on by it. That's what I tend to do. when Because I, I see some silly, stupid posts. Stuff that human beings know should not be... Um, on social media this should not be posted but we post it anyway and so when I see stuff like that I don't take offense I just keep scrolling by I make a mental note of how maybe that person may think so I know not to really engage them in that manner but I never ever 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 take um, offense to um, somebody's opinion because that's simple that's simply what it all it is it's it's their opinion uh, it's not fact it's an opinion so I just wanted to make this little short video. I'm at, at the gym trying to get my little workout regimen in. I'm really serious about meeting my um, weight loss goals, and I'm almost there. So I just try to focus my time on positive things, so stuff that's going to build me up and not tear me down. And uh, so I see a lot of rifts going on uh, all down my timeline, people with differences of opinions. And I just say, hey, as a community, we need to be sticking together. We don't need to be fighting each other. and downgrading each other and talking about each other and then i've even seen some people they get so mean spirit about it they actually wish bad on the person that has a difference of opinion if that doesn't speak immaturity i don't know what does and so i just wanted to take this time out to say hey you guys let's come on down this is social media although we do sometimes talk about serious topics on our sites um, sometimes people are just making generalized posts and some of them although some of them can re be really stupid or crazy you know some people just like to throw stuff out there it's no reason for you to take offense um, and we need to make sure we're not taking offense to you know things especially when people don't know us uh, really don't know us they don't know where we come from they don't know our stories they don't know anything and then for them to make a blanket statement and then your whole world turns upside down um, that speaks volumes. So I think that we need to be um, kind of mindful of that. And um, Paul even talks about it. Uh, I really don't know how to do these videos yet, but I'm going to get real good at it because I'm determined to put facts up and something scripture to kind of help me through what I'm trying to say. But since I'm at the gym, I didn't have time to even try to get some of that, gather that stuff together. But there's some things in the Bible that Paul speaks about how um, we should never feel like we have, we've arrived. And I'm paraphrasing this. Uh, all, we, we should always be in this state of growing and learning and evolving. That means that even when I'm in my 60s, I'm going to still be learning something new and still growing. Hopefully, you know, if, if we're going to ever be where God called us to be, we need to always be in this state of growing. And evolving and that means there's always something to learn and we can learn stuff from other people but if we close our minds and we're just stuck into this one place that we're in at the at the moment then we'll never grow we will never evolve into the people that God intends us to be so my challenge today you guys is regardless of whether we agree with an individual or not um, on our page don't deflect I mean, if there's something going on deep inside of us that we need to take care of, why don't we address those issues? But don't deflect, we shouldn't deflect our issues on other people because they may be in a different space. It doesn't, doesn't mean that they're any better than you. It doesn't mean that you know God is smiling upon them any more better than he is upon you. But there's, uh, there's times called, there's seasons. We all have seasons and sometimes we go through good, we go through bad, but it's how we handle the bad that's going to reflect our true character. So my challenge to you is no matter what you're feeling right now, no matter what you're going through and you feel like life isn't fair, life has hit us all hard this year with COVID-19. Um, just understand that God is still on the throne and he loves each and every one of us. He's not a uh, he's not a respecter of persons. So 
he loves the um, the homeless person on the street just like he lo loves the minister that's behind, you know, standing up preaching to the congregation. So he doesn't, you know, he loves us all. So let's kind of think about that before we start judging other people. And 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 uh, there was one incident that this one girl she got offended by a, a post that someone made, and she actually went in on that person and and, and wished bad on them. And and this person is a believer. This person is a believer in Christ. So how can we pretend to believe or how can we believe in the power of God and then want to curse somebody else or or uh, wish bad upon them simply because they don't think like we do? I mean, come on, you guys. Let's think about that. I think we need to do better, y'all. I think we need to do better at encouraging one another. And my arms are getting tired. I just had a... Um, a, a, a shred class so my arms are on fire right now so I keep switching this camera like I say I'm not a, a, a professional I don't know I don't know really how to do these videos but I'm trying to get my message across um, and I just want to say you know be encouraged regardless of what you're going through there's somebody going through a lot worse and you can't look at some somebody's uh, highlight reels of their life and just paint this total picture because you you don't know them you don't know the to the the totality of that person and it's also judging we can't judge each other we need to be in support of each other and build each other up and i say one thing about the power of offense the enemy works in that that could be spiritual the enemy works in the power of, of uh, offense because he may be um, putting something in your mind or making you think something real negative about a person that could possibly help elevate you to your next level Maybe in your thinking, maybe in your behavior, maybe just in general, in something that maybe you need to have, there's a section of your life that you need to still work on. That person may be able to help elevate you to that level. But if you get so easily offended and you're always casting down people and judging people and doing away with good hearted people, then, you know, you're pushing away all the good souls and you're surrounding yourself with all the bad. How are you ever going to come out of that? That's what I want to know. So we got to be real careful at how we, we throw people away and we cast them aside because they may be the very people that God is using to help elevate you to your next level in life. So I'm going to go because I need to get out of uh, the gym and get showered and I have a lot to do with my children today. But I wanted to make that mention. Be careful about the power of offense. Did this person really, this, did this person, does this person, first of all, ask yourself, does this person really know me? Did this person mean to hurt me by a general post? And, and, and if you can honestly say, no, this person really don't know me. Normally this person, you know, is real easy going and inspirational. So I just think I'm taking it the wrong way. You know, I allowed myself to be offended by something general. And then work through those emotions within yourself instead of going off on somebody that you really don't know or may could be, you know, instrumental to help helping you elevate your thinking or helping you spiritually. You may have a prayer partner in that person. You just don't know what that person could be. Because I can remember back, I'll go back to some times in my past where I was struggling in a lot of areas of my life. And I praise God for the people that he put into my life. And they called things as if they were so, and they were telling me what was up. And hey, maybe I didn't like it, but they were planting seeds and those seeds start to grow. So I praise God for the people. I mean, even strangers would come and speak a word into my life and it helped elevate me and it, and it start changing my thinking, but I had to be open to it. So because I was open to it, I was able to continue to grow and to get beyond the, the place where I was. So be careful that you're not casting away people that God himself is sending to you to encourage you or to move you forward. So uh, this message is to any brother or sister that may be going through and maybe recently you've gotten offended by somebody's post. I don't do politics. That's one thing I don't do because that's, you know, that right there, that's something I don't touch on social media. I don't touch it in my everyday life, you know, with everything that's going on. So that's going to offend a lot of people. But just make sure, you know, you're in the right place and you're focusing on the right things because the power of offense is not a good thing and it's from the enemy. It's meant to create division. And right now we do not be, need to be divided. We need to stand together and pull together during these hard times. So I want to encourage you today that when you feel bad or you don't feel too good about yourself, 
instead of deflecting on people that may seem like they're happy or you know they're not going through you don't know first of all you don't know what they're going through don't deflect your issues on them you know get on your knees and pray about it and ask god to change your perception or change your mood there's plenty of times when i'm not in a good mood i say lord please change my mood and i pray about it and i let him lead me and i let him change my mood so that i can be the best version of myself and i challenge you all to be the best versions of yourself I'm going to go. I love you. Take care. Be blessed and always be encouraged. Bye-bye.